late night snacks thumbs up or thumbs down sorry sorry for the bad news bad news is thumbs down um so unfortunately late night snacking is not a very healthy behavior so it does a couple of things so the probably the worst effect is that it can disrupt sleep quality so it can basically keep our met metabolisms a little bit uh, revved up when we're sleeping so we don't get as much deep sleep and that can have not very fun consequences uh, to like not just how we feel the next day, but like long-term health, not getting enough deep sleep is not good. Um, and then uh, also um, it it has, and whether this is because of the impact on sleep, like exactly like what the, what the biological series of events is, um, late night snacking has been shown to increase risk of all cause mortality. So um, potentially because it's disrupting sleep or potentially because disrupting sleep is a, is a stressor on the body and it's a stress response mechanism and that impacts blood sugar regulation and insulin response. Um, but yeah, uh, late night snacking is overall like not a great health habit. I know that for me, late night snacking is always something I'm drawn to when I'm like overtired and I'm looking for something to keep myself awake instead of doing what my body really needs, which is to go to bed. So I think there's another, like, if you're drawn to late night snacking, I think there's a really, like, it's, it would be a, a beneficial thing to do is to reflect on why, like, why, why is this, is, am I just eating to keep myself awake or maybe I just need to go to bed or is my like dinner timing relative to my bedtime just a little bit too long so that I'm getting hungry before bed? Do I need to move my dinner a little bit later or my bedtime up a little bit earlier? Like figuring out what's going on there. Um, a lot of late night snacks are really craving driven. So really stress response driven rather than hunger driven. So that's another like, yeah, uh, it's better. It's better just, it's better to go to bed with Caveat exception is people with reactive hypoglycemia, low, low blood sugar, hypoglycemics in general, they do need sometimes to eat a late night snack to keep their blood sugar levels uh, from dropping too low overnight. So that I'm not, we're, that is a different thing. We're just talking about late night snacking as a general behavior in overall healthy people. There's always exceptions to these things. There's always, there's always a situation where the opposite is true. That, ugh. There's always, there's always, there's always, there's, there's more exceptions than rules.